Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Tokofato, and today I'm going to be chatting about different careers in tech and how to get into them. I'll also be sharing some learnership opportunities from Geeks for Learning, so do stay tuned. If you enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to share, do share it in the comment section, and please do subscribe, guys. We are on the road to 22k. We are so close, so please do subscribe, and let us get started. <laughs> sharing my journey about getting to tech on this channel for about two years now um, I think since like my final year and then also like when I started working and so on I've been sharing all of that I actually do have a playlist about my journey I'll leave it up in the cards and in the description but basically I studied computer science at the University of Pretoria and I currently work as a software engineer but I always get questions about people like asking how to get into tech and I thought I'd just highlight uh, one the different careers you can actually you get into and another thing is a different route that you can get into not necessarily just you know getting a degree and so on so I'm just gonna be giving a brief overview of different careers in tech there's a lot of careers in tech guys and I'm not gonna get into all of them today just a few and please do feel free to share in the comment section if you're working in tech let us know how you got there and what you're currently doing but yeah first up we're gonna look at software engineering because that's what I currently do I have shared a more detailed video about what I do as a software engineer and also a day in my life so you can check those out but basically uh, software engineering is about like maintaining building deploying software so yeah so my day-to-day -day kind of looks like, you know, fixing bugs and errors and also working on new features. There's also like a lot more, but that's just like a brief overview. And something interesting actually is that even in software engineering alone, there's already so many different roles because they can be like back-end, front-end, full-stack, there's mobile developers. There's just, there's a whole lot of different careers in tech. But yeah, just software engineering is just kind of like building, maintaining, deploying software. The next career we're going to look at is a career as a business analyst. So a business analyst in tech kind of looks at the bigger picture. So so they would look at improving or working on the processes and system for a company to help them actually meet the requirements or the goal that they are trying to accomplish. Next up we have software testers. So software testers come in for quality assurance and what they do is in their name. <laughs> they test the software. So they ensure that the software works according to the requirements and they ensure that there are no bugs. So just like user testing, how users would use the like program to make sure that everything works expected and it doesn't break in um, any sort of way and guys they are so helpful because sometimes like things break and you're like how did you even find that problem <laughs> so I think it's a really cool job it's really interesting but yeah so they just test software ensure everything works accordingly so that when you know the software finally goes out to users they've eliminated all the bugs. The last career we're going to look at in this video is system support so system support is all about providing like help desk assistance as well as like technical support so it would be like help with stuff like software hardware or like network support you know usually when you have trouble um, like at work and stuff and there's like they like just contact IT or something so those would be like system support and I think a lot of people actually confuse this with like uh, software engineers or software developers because I've been asked a couple of times about like how to like fix certain specific software related problems or like hardware and I'm like, mm, I am not your guy. <laughs> but I know there's like some software like engineers that are actually interested in like the hardware aspect and actually know, but that's not me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's just a brief overview of some careers that are in tech that you can look at. You know, it's not all about like software development and software engineering because that's what I always share about because that's just what I am in and that's what I do but if you're interested in any of these careers I highly recommend checking out Geeks for Learning they have some accredited um, learnerships in these fields so if you're looking at uh, being a software developer, system support, 
uh, business analyst or a software testers they have some learnerships there and they also help you get into the industry so I really really so, uh, recommend that you check them out they also provide their graduates with like soft skills so that they're ready for the workplace and another thing that they offer is career counseling to kind of just help you, you figure out like where are you what's best for you and so on so if you're interested I will leave the link in the description and up in the cards all you need to apply for these learnerships is a matric certificate and you need to have math and English so if you have those do go check out those learnerships and that is all for today's video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up if you have anything to share drop it in the comment section please do subscribe road to 20k and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye <laughs>